Well, hi there, this is TV Team. This is just a quick video to show some of the kind of new features that were added in this latest patch, the 2.0.1 version of Deep Chief. Now, this patch was mostly about uh, bug fixes, but we did add a couple of features which I'm gonna cover on cover right now. The first one of them is the pistol, precisely. Um, you can now refire the pistol if you just hold the button. Um, this works for people who get tired of tapping the button a zillion times or worried that they're gonna break their mouse. So now you can just hold the button and it's gonna refire, but you can still tap it to get a better firing speed. Same thing with the blue pistol. The difference between tapping and just holding it. It's still functional, it's just there for, for those situations. Now, another thing that we did um, for this version was the uh, ability... Hold on, I'm trying to deal with this. To be able to turn um, the weapon bar. If you notice, I didn't have it right there. Now I'm gonna have it. It takes a couple of seconds. Hold on. To make it more visible, I'm gonna cheat. So, you can disable it, and it's gonna take a couple of seconds to disappear. But it will. And same thing with the reticles, you can finally disable them if you don't like them. But in these cases you don't have a crosshair at all, even if you uh, try to activate it with crosshair. And it's still not gonna show. In order to fix that, all you have to do is go again into the options and just select four CDM crosshairs, you'll have them there. Now just keep in mind that without the standard reticles of D4T, you're not gonna have information on the cooldowns of the weapons. But if you're okay with that, then by all means go ahead with it. Um, Another thing that we did, hold on, let me just restart, um, reset it the way I like it. You might notice now that we have a different heads of display. Um, this is more on the style of Doom 4 where the, all the items are not centered. You can still switch uh, to the other one if you prefer it, I do. Uh, so you can just use this one, use the non-centered, or you can also use the, the super mobile head, which is for very low resolution. It has gigantic numbers, so even if... In the lowest possible resolution, the numbers are quite visible. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to continue showcasing this one. So those are basically the, the the most interesting or more accessible things that we added. We added, but we also added another another thing, which is uh, the ability to show damage numbers in single player or in cop. Co you just have to go puke name dam dam nums. It will initialize, and after it's done you will be able to see damage numbers on monsters. Why do we do it this way? Well, this is a very experimental feature. It's not basically on the main game yet. It doesn't auto-activate under any circumstances. You have to do it manually. Uh, because this system, it's not, uh, uh, let's say, uh, full force. It will mess up sometimes. And, for example, if there's new monsters that are spawned that were not present in the map at the time you you, you run the script, they're not gonna have these numbers. So, for example, if I summon uh, Hell Knight, this guy's not gonna show the numbers. Uh, however, all you have to do is rerun the script, and this guy will show them. So, that's why this is experimental, um, and because it can ca cause some issues when there's way too many monsters. It, it may cause to in in instability. Is that the word? I think so. It becomes a little unstable. So. Uh, this is just for if you want to mess around with it, if you like the concept of doing that. Um, but in general, it's not recommended, particularly in multiplayer games in co-op. Because if there are too many monsters, uh, probably the server may, may crash. And when I say too many monsters, I mean over around 400. So that's something that you have to keep in mind for if you're planning to do this with uh, co-op. Uh, that's why this run, this script doesn't run by itself. You have to manually activate it. Because otherwise, it's too too uh, dangerous to to be doing it. Now, one thing that I want to address that was reported at some time is that the, that the chain gun did not upscale when you're using uh, the option for it, which is found under. I don't know why my frame rate is terrible right now, but oh well. Um, on display, OpenGL textures, the high quality resize mode. Um, all of the weapons get this kind of a, I don't know what to call it, sharper look or less pixely look when you activate that thing. All of them but the chain gun. This is because the chain gun uh, happens to have too large of a canvas. So all you have to do to get it working there is on the console type GL, texture, HQ, resize, max, input, size. Right now I have it to 600, which is how you fix the chain gun not showing it. Because usually, 
it's 512. And the value, that the default value is 512, so now it just looks blurry. If you increase it to 600, then it will look how we want it to look. So that's just something that I wanted to address for people that like using this type of resizing, um, how to get it working here. So there were a lot of changes in regards to balance, but I'm not going to cover each one of them because there were really way too many and it doesn't make sense for me to be talking about. It's just things that you will experience for once you're playing. So those are basically the main things that I wanted to talk about. Right now I'm using G3.1 oh, 3.1 Point zero. Uh, I highly recommend using this version because it fixes some problems with uh, well, with the threats of railguns, and this is important with the siege uh, siege mode on on the ghost cannon. So yeah, just just keep all that in mind. Um, just wanted to make this quick video to show some of the features because honestly, I know that not a lot of people like to rechange a lot, but I think it was worth to mention uh, the ability to turn off the the reticles in the weapon bar and also have this more Doom 4 like uh, heads up display. So well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative uh, and at least a little bit. And um, also remember that we play multiplayer every single Friday. Um, around 9 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, or if you want to join us, we play co-op, we play deathmatch. We're going to be playing, of course, with this new version. So, that's it for now. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll be seeing you in whatever I record next. Until then, later.